In this Diablo 4 guys, you will learn how the Ashava Ward boss fight works. So I'm here, I don't have any clan, I'm not in any kind of special party or something, I'm just here for the regular event that shows up in the map like this. It has this unique icon on the map which looks like this, this you can see it a little better, you get grim favors for it, you get weekly bonus spoils, so it seems like some legendary drop will show up in my inventory really soon, in 5 minutes, uh, the, the, the fight starts in 5 minutes actually. So yeah, it's a great opportunity to, to get some loot, get some grim favors, and fight against a very strong opponent. So this is how the pre-fight stage looks like, this huge pull off, I don't know, looks like putrid water. But anyway, I'm using my Overpower Druid build here. Uh, I really like this build, it's the build that I leveled up with, with no, no big issue. I'm not sure if this is like a, a meta build or something. But I usually use uh, Pulverize for damage, but usually I go for Primal Pulverize for uh, damage reduction. But in this case, since I want uh, to help build up a Shava's Stagger Bar to get the stun quicker, I'll just use Raging Pulverize to get the stun when a Shava is overpowered by Pulverize. And I also make this change uh, here. I use Init Debilitating Roar for the slow on a Shava. Remember that stun and slow will not apply to ward bosses because they have the stagger bar, that little bar, gray bar under their health. But if everyone uses crowd control skills, the bar starts to build up. And when it fully builds up, when it's full, the boss is stunned and really vulnerable to damage. So that helps. So if everyone is also bringing their best CC, it should be a rather um, much easier fight. I'm not sure if it's gonna be an easy fight, but it should be way easier than if we don't break the stagger bar. So yeah, here's hoping for for the people here to to bring that. All the, all the other things I'm using is just standard damage stuff. With Storm Strike for vulnerable damage. Uh, Earth and Bulwark for protection. Since I'm melee, I don't want to die to a Shava. And the ultimate for extra fortify, extra damage reduction, and also uh, some extra damage here in this old from Defiance. So yeah, let's wait just a little more and see how it goes. And here we go, a Shava starting now. Looking good so far, we already got to the first ocean point on Shava, and we still have almost 13 minutes left, so good damage so far.
looks like we're gonna beat a Shava before Rake in Stagger Bar. In non-coordinated kills like that, like this, it's it's sometimes hard to just coordinate all CCs to get the stun. Yeah, here's the kill. What a clean kill, fast kill, less than five minutes. Let's just get some sacred legendary gear. And here it is, that's how you beat a Shava.